All right, guys, I'm Dodge. I'm Andy. And uh, we this... are Big Mix Workshop and Paint Studio. Boom! You got it right for a change. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, another banter and brushes video from us to waffling stuff at you. Yeah, we're quite good at that. We enjoy these videos. Yeah, uh, you know, quite enjoyable. Uh, so, uh, we've got a whole bunch of stuff to talk about. Uh, obviously, you've seen um, Dodger's vlog already. Um, yep, it was only a short one. Um, but Andy has got some vlog material worth putting up. Yeah, I've uh, been wor uh, busy beaving away um, working on Armies on Parade stuff. Uh, and a... I'm also going to 40k doubles next month, uh, so I've been um, filming a lot of footage, doing uh, doing that, uh, building a battle board, and uh, painting. Obviously, my world leaders for that particular get, um, event. So that's been a lot of fun. Uh, You've got quite a lot of footage as well. Yeah, um, but it's not tutorial footage, so that's why it's going to go into a vlog, get cut up and. Basically, it's an opportunity for me to waffle stuff, waffle, waffle rubbish at years about his own army, about my own armies and uh, my own projects. What I'm doing just to amuse myself with. On the pro, uh, also on the um, point of amusing myself, we do have a load of um, alternate game system uh, figures. As we occasionally, I occasionally do some guild ball. Uh, we've got in War Machine Infinity. Would you guys like to see uh, a change of pace, different style, different style of figures? Uh, some of the alternate rangers out there are absolutely awesome. Uh, the Infinity is a very manga-esque style. Uh, I don't like the scale of the Infinity style. Yeah, it's a little bit of a uh, smaller scale, rather than the hero scale stuff what, uh, you're used to seeing. But the detail work on some of the things are absolutely awesome. Um, big stompy robots and things as well, which are pretty cool. Uh, Who doesn't like a big stompy robot? Yeah, um, obviously we've got I've got War Machine as well. I've uh, got some of that old stuff knocking about. So, if there's anything what you guys want us to, uh, if, uh, want, to want us to have a try try out at, uh, just let us know. Yeah, we do understand uh, our audience is primarily 40k based, but we would like to mix it up. Seeing as we have like 164 videos and most of them now are all 40k based. Yeah. That's not saying we're going to stop doing the 40k stuff because there's still tons we haven't even started. To oh yeah, uh, we've got so, there's so much to do. It's just that um, we want to keep it interesting for ourselves, for you guys. Um, I mean the tribute video didn't do too bad yesterday yeah that was a lot of fun actually because uh, that was a bit of a, an experiment and thanks to Nick for uh, supplying me with that uh, model um, yeah uh, painting a chibi was a weird experience uh, completely that's all smooth textures isn't it yeah completely out of left field that one so that was a lot that was a lot uh, a lot of fun but back to the 40k guys um, as you can see the, this video will tell you how to win this Drakari Talos paint engine, uh, which I'll show you now, which will be in the background, which took a long time to paint. But um, we're going to waffle a bit more and give you some more video, and then we'll tell you how to enter that competition later on. Yeah, so keep on watching because uh, there's no time stops on this one. No, there isn't. Uh, so, yeah, the next thing is bases. Right, you finally get a teaser of the bases. So hopefully they won't mind waiting for the competition entry now. Yeah. Because you've been waiting for this as well. What I'll do now is I'll run a bunch of footage. And what we've got, generally, at the moment, some of you will recognise the... Original. MK, the MK1 tiled bases. These are the uh, flatter tiled bases, which um, they were the very first ones I ever built. And they've yeah. been selling relatively well like for a few years now. And finally, after all these years, got around here to making the 40mm versions. And it's brilliant when you get to the 40mm because I'm working my way up. So next, I only have to do three bases. Yeah. Then another three, then a large oval, Obviously, and then they're done. It, as they're getting bigger, you get more space to work with so you can have more... More fun with it. Yeah, more intricate designs, etc. And um, showing next to that is the... Um, MK2s which are raised up even more and you can see how th those two blend together um, you can use them in the same set and this is what we've been working on so if you've got a whole army and they're all on 40 millimeter bases this this system here yeah this don't... system here will mean they don't all have to be on the, same the exact time. same base you can mix this up and next is a uh, the two new sets and that that is the um, tiled lava bases which are were a lot of work to make. Um, yeah. A lot of bubbles in the mould. They've been moulded a few times. So now we've got a mould that works. Uh, they'll be ready for sale very soon. 
and um, the 40 mils are half built for those I've got two more to do so they're coming out pretty pretty well and then just to blend it in what we've done is we've made a mark 2 version of the original lavas so you can blend those into your tile bases into the other mk2 stuff and into the old rubble bases that we've done as well seeing as they all have the same texture yeah it's nice that we're um, it's a nice way of doing things is that uh, our original idea was to have a fully interchangeable uh, basin system uh, where you, um, you can go from in a temple for example to a lava based death world and, and uh, it not look odd yeah and it allows you to really expand your army without having to um, use multiple, vast multiples of the same half dozen I bases always, I always hated that look especially if you bought space marines you did two tactical units and for strategic purposes you've done them exactly the same then you've bought two box or two packs of display bases or resin cast bases they look exactly the same those, those two units start to look almost identical but if you yeah. start say you want you know, you've got two packs or sorry i'll start that again you've got two or three units of space marines or something just buy two or three different packs and individually mix one here and one there and with this system if you paint them all the same they will look like part of the same terrain and uh i can't wait to see this whole row painted up with all the um things in that's yeah gonna be it's good. not really interesting and at that point, that's when we'll be releasing everything else. But we're going to try and get these out first up to 40 mils and uh, see if I can find some time. Because at the moment, I've been working on the Orc stuff for October. Yeah. Uh, uh, this lad, be, this fella has been bugging me senseless about Orc stuff. <laughs> um, he can't keep his mouth shut now. Have a minute. <laughs> oh, I need this codex. I've been waiting over a year for my codex. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Suck it up. I've been waiting for 20. Yeah, but no one cares about <laughs> sisters. <laughs> so, yeah, Orc stuff coming up. Obviously, we've got some very, very cool um, new kits coming out. Um, yeah. Hopefully, we're going to get some new toys. Uh, for we're me. just waiting for pre-orders. We're going to get those in for you. We're going to yeah. do an we're... unboxing, a building. And we already have three Orc videos almost yeah. finished. And I've got another one to do this week. So, you will be flooded with Orc videos over uh, October. I'm hoping to get eight, eight tutorials out just for October. Yeah. Um, which, in fact, does mean, guys, if you're waiting for the green stuff, you're going to have to wait for the month after. I'm sorry about that. But um, we've got a lot running of out of green stuff, and, I've, and I love Orcs yeah. as well. So, And we're going to try and uh, get some games of the, uh, like the mini game as well. Uh, yeah. because Once we're done, we'll try and get that. That built, looks like it could be a lot of fun. So yeah, uh, that, that's uh, that's the plan for the next uh, for the next few weeks anyway. Uh, loads of orc stuff, as you can see. Dodge has been working away on the uh, bases. These are still going to expand even further. Yeah, we've got a long way to go with them. They're yet. going to expand into industrial and <laughs> industrial rubble. Um, so it looks like you've got gantries and walkways that have been knocked down yeah. into actual just straight industrial bases. So industrial lava, so you could go with the yeah, or you Revenge could have, of the or Sith. Or you could thing. have the um, lava as oil. Yeah, it was heavily based on Revenge of the Sith. That so sort that'd of be idea. a really cool, um, yeah. really cool looking lava idea. and big metallic factory and stuff. So um, and they'll blend in with all the rest of them. So yeah, and and this is uh, the sort of thing we're trying to uh, push forward. Okay, competition details. <laughs> the bit they've all been waiting for. Yeah, I think I mean, they've heard us waffling enough. Yes. Uh, so, as you can see, the Talos it took Dodge a long time to paint, and it is a all it wicked. It wasn't paint so job. much a long time; it was jumping from one project to another, and yeah. it just being sat on the side. Um, it, the paint job did take some time and some patience. It's all right; I could definitely improve it some. But I'm sure you guys would disagree with that. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really fussed for giving it away anyway so yeah uh, so in order to enter for the Talos you need to whack a comment in down below don't uh, hesitate to leave stupid comments yep stupid comments uh, are always welcome but it is not based on the, our favourite comment this time this is a pure raffle every comment will go into a uh, into a hat or some yep. some object of uh, some containing object and we will uh, pick it out at random on camera uh, the um, deadline will be well to be honest it will probably be coming out 
we will do the video. It'll be Monday or Tuesday, so if you want to enter, you want yeah. to have a comment down before then. Yeah, you need to be having a comment um, by the end of the weekend, uh, Monday, Tuesday time. Uh, so yeah, drop us a comment, hit us a like, and uh, you never know, you might get a uh, Talos paint engine. Yep, I will obviously be paying for the shipping and everything yeah. else. As always, it's straight out of us. Uh, this will be the last competition for a while, as we don't well this is a giveaway for the subs which we pay for we pay for these ones ourselves yeah yeah but um as there's no more patrons at the moment uh, we've lost all our patrons over time if they'd all stuck together over the time we'd actually have enough money to give stuff away every yeah. month which it's, is something we want to do i mean we buy these models and we don't use them a lot of the time because we collect our own armies and we try to diversify and use a bit of everything so we end up with models sat around that we don't even use like that skink, commissar. Yes. No use for those whatsoever and would be quite happy to put them in a box and ship them away. But shipping and models cost money. So if you want to join us on Patreon, there's nothing special going on on there at all. It's just a way of donating to the channel so yeah. we can improve, give you guys stuff. And we are slowly working towards improving the Patreon channel so you will, in time... Uh, this, I'm trying to get it done before October yeah. what you're saying what in, is, in yeah, time have benefits for being on Patreon like um, early videos early videos um, we'll uh, whack a um, at the end of every video if we start getting Patreons we'll, we'll uh, put a Patreon list at the end of our tutorials yeah I can do that um, say, as a way of saying thank you um, and there's other things we can do as well um, I mean if if I can uh get on there because my computer's been a bit odd at the moment but if I can get on there I'm going to try and catch up all the old videos and then I'm going to try and get all these orc ones up there before October Yeah. Uh, so you'll have access to those and then try and keep us ahead so whoever's on Patreon will be getting many more videos um, a lot faster yeah and maybe even some blunders as well yeah <laughs> we might have plenty we, of those we might throw a few outtakes on the uh, Patreon site because uh we have plenty. Yeah. I have countless footage of just Andy's hand. Everyone likes my hand. <laughs> Not really. It gets in the way of everything. <laughs> and is there any more topics? I think that's about it for now. Okay, so guys, so uh, thank you for watching this far into the video. Um, leave a comment if you want a paint engine. Uh, obviously, like us if you uh, if you want. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Every little helps and it gets us out there. So uh, the more people who get to watch us, the more stuff we can do because YouTube pays us as well, which is why we have adverts. Yeah, we make all of like $1 something a week. <laughs> it's not, we're not getting a lot yet, but you know, in time, in time. And uh, so, yes, thank you for watching from me, uh, from me and Dodge. And we'll catch you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.